we're going to be covering the external rotation and then the dorsiflexion with external rotation test, also known as Clyger's test. And this is to help identify syndesmotic injuries, high ankle sprains, uh, tibiofibular ligament injuries, all of those all in one. And so depending upon where they have pain and how much pain they have, that's going to give you an idea of what types of structures have been injured. So the first thing that you would do is bring them kind of into a neutral position and again find that subtalar neutral and once they're there which is going to be a little bit into plantar flexion and then what you're going to do is stabilize their tibia and then just go straight into external rotation or abduction with their foot and then you can also bring them up into 90 degrees so relax for me there you go and then keep them there and then bring them all the way up into external rotation. And so then the way that you really turn it into Clyger's test or the dorsiflexion with external rotation tests is you actually bring them all the way up into dorsiflexion, which that in and of itself might really just hurt them. And then you pull them out. Yeah, and it just feels good anyway. And she doesn't even have a high ankle sprain. But what you're doing by doing these tests, either coming outwards or coming up and out is you're in effect taking their tibia and stabilizing it, and then you're pushing their fibula laterally. So if they have damage to these tibiofibular ligaments or to the syndesmosis, what they're gonna report is pain right over these tibiofibular ligaments. Notice I am above their malleoli when I'm doing this. And, or if they have syndesmotic injury, it would actually shoot pain up to the point where the tear actually ends. Uh, I have had an athlete before who tore it from both of these ligaments and then tore it all the way to the superior ligaments and had to go in and have a plate and four screws put in to stabilize this joint. These are called high ankle sprains and they can be very, very difficult to come back from. Uh, from these, they're going to be non-weight bearing for a long period of time and for him, he actually could feel his fibula snapping back and forth. Um, out of the fibular groove on his tibia as he tried to weight bear and walk and you could hear it It was actually kind of disgusting, but if these are tests are positive, you're pretty sure I mean, I would basically be 100% sure that they have a high ankle sprain also known as the tib fib the inferior tib fib ligament sprains and then potentially a syndesmotic injury as well